friends and happy Monday. It is a little bit after eight o'clock and I had to take Brian all the way over to the Ford dealership this morning to pick up his Explorer. Um, we had dropped that off right before we left uh, to go to Mobile and stuff because he had um, a recall on his vehicle and he had the gas gauge um, stopped working, which was just so bizarre. Um, so they had to replace a sensor for him so anyway so we were able to go pick up his vehicle this morning so I had him there a little after seven o'clock this morning to grab that and then he went over to the office and he has training today and tomorrow and um, I have the house to myself today and tomorrow which is it's always so it's always so nice but obviously you know when he's working from home it's it's fine as well but it's just it's just a little different sometimes when you have the house to yourself <laughs> And you guys understand. Anyway, so um, today is Monday. Yay. And um, we're back to regular vlogs for a little while. Um, so today, basically, um, I washed all the towels and stuff right before we left. And I don't understand the whole, like, white balancing here. It's, like, really feels like it's washing me out a little bit. Um, I washed all the towels before we left. So I don't have that to do today. Um... I put fresh sheets on the bed yesterday when we got back because I had actually stripped the bed before we left and then I never did put sheets back on the bed. I just kind of wanted the bed to air out a little bit. Sometimes it's kind of good to just let that air out. So I let the bed air out, which is great. So when we came home yesterday, I put fresh sheets on the bed. So basically all I have to do today is make up the bed and um, empty a lot of our suitcase or empty our suitcases. So hold on. See, look, it's like washing me out. So this is where our suitcases ended up last night. Um, I just kind of tossed them in here and grabbed a few things. I was starting to wash laundry, so I took out our laundry bag um, and started washing laundry. Um, but I also have a lot more of this stuff that I need to like wash and get washed up. And then I want to clean out all of the stuff from the suitcase and get that all done and get those out of here. Um, so that's going to be part of my plan for today. Another part of my plan for today is to get the uh, kitchen cleaned up. I'm going to show you guys what the kitchen looks like. It is quite the mess right now. Um, it was cleaned up and I, I had put dishes in the dishwasher when I got home yesterday from everything that we had done um, yesterday when we got home. So let me tell you, we got home at 1230 yesterday. And no sooner we got home, I went straight into making lunch and throwing laundry in um, because we did not stop anywhere and grab lunch. We just um, came home and made lunch here. And then we had Super Bowl, and so I made wings and chips and dips. So I was getting kind of all of that started. That way we would have that. But um, this, <laughs> this is like real life. My kitchen looks like a complete tornado hit it. Um, so I have like all this stuff here, Brian's shirts that we took out of the car, um, a sweatshirt that he was wearing, my computer's here because I had to do the video. Um, we have a CVS or a Walgreens bag there, the dishes that I have to finish doing. I mean, this is just kind of what it looks like right now. And it's absolutely like embarrassing. And I'm just like, ugh, but you know it is what it is and it is life um that is life that is exactly what happens no nobody's house is perfect and i will say mine is not always perfect either um so that is a uh, real life right there folks and uh i have laundry in here on the floor that i have to clean up look at this laundry in here on the floor that i have to clean up um so sheets piled up this is not how i left my house but this is exactly how i what happened when we came home because i'm just trying to toss everything is this what happens to you guys when you guys come home from a trip <laughs> things just kind of get thrown everywhere um so yeah that's that that's what i have to do today i also have to run out today and do um i want to go get my car wash because it is filthy and um I need to run to Publix really quick and pick up some dinner for tonight since today is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to all of you lovely people out there. Um, and so Brian's like, I don't want anything heavy. I want something light and healthy. So I'm thinking I'm going to just kind of do some salmon with some vegetables. So that's probably going to be the plan for today. So some salmon and some vegetables. So 
What I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to get myself dressed and ready to go. Um, that way I can go get some of the stuff. To, I've been debating. Do I want to just stay home all day and clean? Which I probably should. And then just run to Publix and get that stuff and go wash my car and then come back and finish cleaning. I probably should. Um, uh, let's just see how far I get. Because it's a little, but, little after 8 o'clock. And, uh... Let's just see how far I get. I'm going to make up the bed first and get that stuff started and get some laundry in. And, uh, yeah. We'll see. I do need to run to Publix. I do know that. So, all right. Making up the bed. That's what we're going to do first. actually clean up the kitchen because I could not deal with the kitchen being a mess and then me walking back in the house and seeing it a mess so I went ahead and cleaned up the kitchen and uh, so that's good and done um, I actually um, undid the suitcases as well and so I cleared out um, brought out my little uh, magnet that I bought the other day while we were in Mobile. It's so funny because it just seems like we were in New Orleans because of all this like whole Mardi Gras stuff. But yeah, I think she looks really cool. I'm going to just stick her up there for now. And then um, the funny thing is I've never had an Alabama um, magnet. So I actually picked up an Alabama, Alabama magnet while I was there as well. Um, so I'll actually put that over on my board back there in just a, a little while. Uh, but right now though, I'm actually going to go ahead and get myself together and ready for the day. I've already showered. So I'm in here in my room and I'm going to get ready, but I wanted to actually tell you guys something really quick. Um, this Saturday we are leaving again just for one night we are headed to Kentucky to visit with Brian's mom and dad um, no they do not live in Kentucky they live in um, south like south of Chicago okay hold on all right so that was my aunt she was the one that lives in Tennessee by my mom and dad she's actually helping with some stuff today taking care of some uh, bills and stuff for my mom because um, my mom is still you know can't get out of the hospital and I guess my dad had a meeting this morning with the administration so that's good um, it's funny because we're all like really try we're like all involved with this which we should be and I think everybody should be but you know some families just kind of like oh well the hospital's taking care of them there's nothing we can do and we're just like no 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 we want to be involved so that's that and uh i'm just kind of getting ready for the day and um yeah and then as soon as as soon as i am ready to go and my hair is all done we will head on out i wanted to go to two different places today i wanted to go to lane bryant because i am in desperate need of like new panties i actually got rid of well not got rid of but i tossed out a bunch of um, old panties and stuff because they do get like stretched out and and dry rotted and stuff like that so i threw out a bunch so i really need to go and get some more and then i really want to go get some new bras as well i usually do this about once a year and try to go get some new stuff and then um I also just kind of wanted to run into Old Navy really quick as well just to see what they had. And it is only 10 o'clock, so I am still good to go. So um, everything's just now opening, so I'm, I'm good. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and finish getting ready. And as soon as I am ready, we will head out the door.
so I am all ready and I am leaving the house now. I, my sister called, my aunt called, I've been trying to talk to them. Um, I haven't talked to my mom yet this morning. Uh, I'm just really waiting for the doctor to call, quite honestly, because we just, we need some answers. Um, but I don't think we're gonna get any answers. I think it's just one of those things that we're kind of like in a limbo. And it's not that she's declining, because she's not declining. And when I say declining, they're just like, she's kind of she was taking a step backwards like she wasn't getting any better but now they think she might be getting better i don't know we're all so confused and um my poor dad is beside himself you know um because he doesn't have any answers and he can't see his wife and he it's just it's upsetting it's upsetting and i totally 100 percent understand um with that um and uh so yeah it's just a, it's a tough, rough situation all the way around. But I mean, there, again, there's nothing we can do. And it's just, it's tough when you can't do anything to help, you know? When my mom was in the hospital three years ago when um, she was on that Coumadin and she started to bleed out really bad, I was, I went up to the hospital and I stayed with her, you know? I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but I did. I, I was at the hospital and I stayed with my mom. And, um, you know, it was just, we were allowed to, we were able to do all that stuff but that was like a whole different time frame in life where you could actually stay with a family member in their hospital room and be with them and know when the doctors came in and get the answers uh that you need but you just can't with these and it's just very very difficult so anyway though so i am actually headed out the first thing i am going to do is seriously like wash my car because it is just just filthy and I hate hate driving around with a dirty car it is just mm. um but anyway happy valentine's day to everybody uh it's a tough valentine's day I know um I, we sent my mom flowers last week um and I, I was thinking about sending more to her today because it's Valentine's Day. Um, but she's got plenty. I think a couple other um, family members have sent her flowers as well. And I'm sure my dad has probably gone out and got her, like, the whole store. <laughs> I mean, she's probably got a whole, like, florist in her, uh, in her room right now. Um, but anyway, happy Valentine's Day, guys. I'm actually wearing this really cute um, uh, red sweater with a heart on it. And I got this just a couple of weeks ago and I can't remember where I got it. I will have to actually look on the tag to see because I can, oh, excuse me, I cannot remember where I got this from. Oh, and the other thing that I forgot is a fan. Ah, crap. That's never good. I forgot to grab a fan. Um, it's cold outside and I need a fan, but when I'm indoors, I need the fan. That's when I, I need the, the, the fan the most. But anyway, nonetheless, um, uh yeah so i'm headed out car wash i'm gonna run to um lane bryant and then possibly old navy and then i'm gonna go to Publix and grab food for dinner tonight and i'm gonna head back home and get all of that stuff together and ready and yeah just enjoy a nice valentine's day i hope that all of you guys are enjoying valentine's day as well that i was telling you guys that we are did, or did I get interrupted? I don't even know. Um, but we are meeting Brian's parents in Kentucky and going to Patty's on Saturday. So we're just going to be gone for one night. And then we'll be home on Sunday. And then my cousin is coming in from California. And um, and the aunt that I was talking to earlier, that's her daughter. And um, I think we're going to try to do something one day next week like they're going to come into Huntsville or something and we're going to maybe go do some shopping and have some lunch or something so um yeah so that's that's what we're going to plan on doing next week I have a nail appointment and a hair appointment at the end of this week so um those are other things that I have to look forward to and uh that's about it so yeah let's go get my car washed because it's filthy and it needs a bath
so I'm very, very happy about that. I kind of knew I had one in here. I always leave one in here just in case I always forget one at home, but this one is the one that I always keep in my car to take in and out of stores with me, so it was in the back seat on the floorboard, and uh, so I grabbed it and I plugged it in, so it is now charging. So now I don't have to panic or have a panic attack when I don't have one with me. Because I'm seriously telling you I will have a panic attack when I start getting hot in places and I cannot um, cool off. It's the craziest thing. All right, so off to Lane Bryant I go. And it's clear on the other side of town. <laughs> Alrighty, so I had success at Old Navy and I had success at Lane Bryant. And I will show all of my stuff once I get home. I'll sit down and just kind of do a haul. Um, now I'm going to head to Publix and get the food for tonight. So yeah, I'm happy about that. I was, I got Brian a couple of pair of like joggy pants because he loves just kind of like lounging in those and he likes traveling in those as well. So I got him a couple of pair of those and like a nice sweatshirt to match one of them. Um, I couldn't find a sweatshirt to match the other pair, but uh, yeah, success. So, alrighty, let's uh, head to Publix and then we'll be home. Oh, by the way, this is actually an Old Navy sweater, sweat cardigan. I saw it actually hanging up in there and I thought it was kind of funny because I'm like, oh, there it is. That's what that's what I have on right now. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, Old Navy. And they have a huge sale going on right now. I mean, everything that I got at Old Navy was like 130 bucks and I got a lot of stuff. And I'm like, yes, yes, please. And I even forgot to bring my coupons. I actually still have coupons, um, but Man, I probably would have been cheaper if I brought my coupons. <laughs> I completely forgot about those. But anyway, all right, off to Publix we go. Alrighty guys, so I am back from the store and I thought that I would share with you a few of the things that I picked up at Publix today. Basically everything that I got is just a few staples that we needed around the house, nothing major at all. And then I just got dinner for tonight. And um, Brian got me flowers that he knows nothing about. So there they are, right there. Those are the flowers. <laughs> I just thought they were so pretty and everybody was in there buying flowers and I bought some flowers. So there you have it. Anyway, um, so here is our, um, here is what I got at the grocery store. So I picked up some lemons because I was out. Um, picked up some oranges for some good vitamin C. Brian and I really like to eat these like at night. I'll cut some up and we'll eat them as like a snack. I picked up some four of these bottles of the sparkling white grape juice because I'm going to make that um, like drink punch that we made at Christmas time. I absolutely love that stuff. I drink it like all the time. I picked up some jalapeno poppers because I love eating these and I might actually pop them in the um, oven right now. Um, here's our salmon for tonight. I got two little planks of salmon for dinner. I got some eggs. Um, I got some of the grape juice because that it's part of how to make that um, drink. I got Two more things of cream cheese because I grab some when I see some because they have been running low a lot. I picked up another thing of Jimmy Dean sausage. Um, I picked up this vegetable medley or stir fry and that's going to be for our dinner tonight as well. Um, I picked up one slice of carrot cake for Brian. That's for Valentine's. Ginger ale for that drink. Um, orange juice for that drink. And I picked up a seven layer dip because this is stuff I like to like munch on throughout the day. Um, this is a tri pepper mix. Um, I'm going to make eggs tomorrow morning like omelet, like an omelet and I want to have that. Um, I picked up some uh, chocolate covered strawberries and that's my dessert for tonight. And then two potatoes and then this is um, queso blanco it was buy one get one free so I picked up two of those because like on the weekends or something Brian I love just to have chips and dip so that is what I got. I got three things of Cokes and two things of 7-Up and I have to put those in the refrigerator. And then while we were gone I wanted to let you guys know too that um, our test kits came in mail for our cruise. So this is for the cruise. These are the COVID um, test kits. And I think there's like two inside each box here, I think. Not exactly sure. I think there's two in a box, I think. Oh no, there's one in a box. 
I don't know. Anyway, nonetheless, but that's for the crews. And then um, the ones came in from the government. And so we have these um, from them. So I'm happy that those came in. Those were like the free ones that they wanted everybody to have. So we got those and we have these. And these ones I have to do like in front of a camera or something so they can watch us do that. How weird is that? Um, but yeah, so that's that. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna sit down and show you guys the bras and panties that I got. I know you guys can't wait to see those, can ya? And then I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got at Old Navy. But first, I wanna put this stuff away and make some of that uh, punch because it is so good and I wanna have a, I wanna have a cup of it while I'm, while I'm sharing my stuff with you guys. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, for those of you that are new to my channel and don't know anything what I'm talking about when I say I'm making this punch, um, this is something that my mom made at Christmas time, but I have loved it ever since, so I keep making it myself. And basically, you just kind of mix all of these together, with, like using this whole thing right here, and then a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of this. <laughs> just kind of like mix it all together inside of a container with like a fourth a cup of sugar. And yes, the sugar is the whole the worst thing for you, but it just brings it all together and it just tastes so good. But this is how you make it. And um, I'm gonna do that now. That is so darn good. And it's gonna be so good in the summertime too. It's like refreshing. And I think if you like to put like mixed drinks or something, if you wanna mix something with that, <sighs> so good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, now I'm gonna set up to share with you guys what I picked up at Lane Bryant and Old Navy. All righty, so. Like I said earlier, about once a year, I try to go over to Lane Bryant and kind of stock up on a few like personal um, things like bras and panties. And today was that day that I, I needed to desperately go over there and do that. So I did pick up, uh, I think one, two, three, four different bras. And I just kind of picked up an ivory one, like a nude color, the nude color bra. And um, I picked up a black one because I was in desperate need of a new black one and so here's my black one these are just like I like these bras because they fit me really really well and because I'm such a like a heavier a top heavier person um, I just feel like Lane Bryant is the best place for me to go to get bras that fit me um, fit me properly um, and I got another white one which is really really nice and then I got a pretty gray one. Like I've never had, I had a light gray one years ago, um, but I kind of outgrew it. The girls got a little bit bigger, um, but I did get a, a nice uh, pretty gray one. It's kind of have like lace in the front. It's got pretty little pink bow. Um, I'm actually kind of going really quick through the whole bra thing because really, I mean, um, and then I did pick up panties while I was there as well. They always have five for 35 or they don't always um, But today was a five for 35 and the bras were not on sale So I actually had to pay full price for those which were quite pricey But I did get a 40% off like this was 42.95 for for this bra um, But again, it's worth it to me to pay that much because it gives me the full support that I need and um, yeah, I don't, I've never had an issue paying that much for bras. Now, I do like them when they're like, buy two, get one half off or whatever. I usually try to do that, but today they didn't have that um, offer available. So, I did get um, panties, which I'm very excited about. So, I got this really pretty, um, like, white color with some, like, gray, um, like, gray and black flowers on them. They're just, like, kind of really pretty. I mean, do you guys really care, like, to see panties? 
you guys really want to. It's like, um, yeah, you guys should. Um, <laughs> and then I got a really pretty pair of just like gray, plain gray ones with the elastic waist right there. Um, the same kind, the big elastic waist in this really cute, like uh, pinky color with the polka dots, super cute. And then I got a navy blue pair as well love those i got a black pair i already have a pair of these ones but i like them so much that i actually got another pair and then i got i think these are yep navy and white striped so i got these ones and i just got a plain black pair as well and this one is black and white with a pink like little bow on the front so these ones are just like the black and white kind super cute i got a pair of white just plain white panties um this is a plain white because i can always wear a plain white one with stuff especially with white shorts i always like to wear white panties with white shorts or nude panties with white shorts um and i got a pair of like light pink ones as well so those are the 10 pair of panties that i got and the bra i did pick up a cardigan while i was there because i I'm a cardigan girl and I love cardigans and this one was just super super cute this one is like a white cardigan with like a really pretty like green neon blue and another blue and then a navy blue down here at the bottom and I just thought this would be like super cute to wear um like anytime really um but I was more or less thinking like on our um flight to Orlando when we leave in two weeks for our cruise I thought that would be fun and then I just kind of got a white like a white um sleeveless like shirt to kind of wear underneath it as well um you could actually go with any type of like color shirt they had that green one there but that was just a little too bright for me so i just kind of thought i would go with a white one and that would be super perfect um so that's the stuff at lane bryant now for this stuff at um old navy this was two bags full of goodies from old navy and um, I'm excited to share these things with you as well because whew, these are so cute. A lot of the fun things as well. So, okay. So this is, these may not work for me because I don't like it when they give me hangers. It drives me crazy. Um, these might be a little too like short, but look how pretty those colors and stuff are. But it's just one of those cute little like baby doll shirts. And I love these. I actually wore a, very, a baby doll shirt um, at Christmas time and I love the way that it looked on me. It came from Target. It was super cute. And I just thought, well, I'm going to give these a try. It kind of feels like they're going to be way too short, but like I said, I'm going to give it a try, but I just thought this was so pretty, and I actually thought it would look pretty with a pair of white shorts or navy blue shorts or something like that, but I got um, this color, and um, I got a plain red, and um, I just love like red too. I just thought it was so pretty, um, and it was just so eye-catching today in the store, especially for today too. It was like um, Valentine's Day, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to see how I like them. And uh, I'm hoping that I like them. They're very similar, like I said, to the one I got at Target. And uh, hopefully that'll work out just fine. All right, so I also picked up um, two pair of joggers for Brian. Um, I picked him up a pair of tan ones. They just kind of have like a zipper on the side and a pocket. <clears throat> Excuse me. I picked this pair up for him. He just likes the number one, just lounge in these. And he also kind of likes to travel in them as well, especially if we're going on a road trip or something like that. And they're very comfortable to wear like on a flight with a pair of tennis shoes. Um, where are the other ones? The other ones are right here and they are, nope, those ones are mine. Uh, where did the other ones go? I got him a, a pair of black ones. Cause like black can kind of go with anything. And that was the, um, the whole point because the sweatshirt that I got him has black in it. So I thought this would be just kind of a nice little comfy outfit, but this is the black pair. Same thing, pockets on the side with some zippers and um, he can wear those. And then I got myself a pair of just like regular, like comfy joggers in this color blue. And then they kind of like have that little cuff down at the bottom. Um, super cute, super comfortable, very, very soft as well. And I love wearing these with like a big sweatshirt and a cardigan maybe, or a sweatshirt, and a, wearing them with a sweatshirt or like a white t-shirt with a cardigan. Super cute. I mean, hey, hold on. Like, look at this. 
yeah, I could probably like put it on with this. It'd be like kind of cute and casual, just like, just to be comfortable. Okay, so I got those, and then I got this sweatshirt for him. This is a really pretty like um, maroon sweatshirt that I thought he would look really, really nice in. It's got a, got a hoodie and a little ties, and that's why I got it, because it kind of matches the black. So, got that. And then I got this dress, and I'm not exactly sure how well it's going to, like, sit on me. Um, but it does have the little, like, cinched waist. But it's a little lower and not as high up. So I'm thinking the lower, it might be a little bit better. But I wanted to get this kind of green color because it was just prettier and more springy and i will definitely be bringing this on the cruise in two weeks as long as it looks good when i try it on and then i got this is a a really pretty like pinky sweatshirt that i got that i could wear with um like black leggings or even gray leggings for that fact but i'd probably pair it with black um, because i have like this color shoes to match it so it's just a nice big chunky frumpy sweatshirt with pockets it's actually a man's sweatshirt but i'm just like mm, i'm gonna wear it anyway because it just looks good and it's just so pretty and then lastly i got this it's a coat but i would actually wear it kind of like a flannel but open up with like a shirt like this shirt underneath it or something but this was so cute and it was on sale today and I just like, I had to have this. It's just like so pretty. I mean, look at the colors in it. So I'm thinking that this is something that I'm gonna bring this weekend when we go to Kentucky. It was a regular $70 like coat, jacket, whatever, and I got it for 40. So I was like, oh yes. So had to have that because it's super cute. So yeah. Good deal. I think I got a pretty good deal. I think I did pretty well on the stuff at Old Navy. Um, a lot of stuff at Old Navy sometimes, especially our Old Navy, it just seems to be so pick through all the time. It just, like, I haven't been there in so long. Um, but they didn't have a lot of summer stuff out just yet, and neither did Lane Bryant. So maybe I'll go back again, uh, maybe in the middle of March, beginning of April, just to kind of see what they have out for spring. Um, but I think I'm pretty satisfied with what I have now for a little while. Um, I'm going to wash some of this stuff up and get it washed and put away. And, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's, a, that's it for my, uh, Lane Bryant Hall and my old Navy Hall. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. that I'm gonna take both of those shirts back because I just don't like the way that they fit me and I don't like the way that they make me look. Um, it kind of, it, it made me feel like I look like the penguin from Batman <laughs> and I'm not up to looking like the penguin from Batman. So <laughs> I'm actually gonna take them back. So I'll take them back first thing tomorrow morning. So they open up at 10 o'clock. Um, I have a dental appointment at 10.30 to get this filling removed and then put another one in. I don't think I need a driver for that. No, they didn't. No, no, no. I don't think I need that. That's just that, right? Okay. Um, so I'm going to do that at 10 o'clock when they open. And then after that, I'm going to run to Target really quick because I need to get a bunch of hangers. And um, because I've been getting rid of all of the plastic hangers, so I'm trying to replace them with those like nice little velvety hangers. So I need to go to Target to get those. And then after that, I'll go to my, um, my dental appointment. So... Yeah, it's unfortunate because I really, really do like these, but they just needed to be a little bit longer and I probably would have kept them. But unfortunately, they've been making stuff a little short these days and I'm not all about those like short shirts. I need stuff to cover up stuff and those just didn't cut it for me. So 
that's unfortunate, but oh well. Okay, I'm gonna be folding some clothes. I'm gonna put this back out in the car so I don't forget tomorrow morning to take it with me. And uh, yeah, I just threw um, my new bras and panties in the washing machine, so those are washing up. And then I'll be folding those and putting those away in a little bit too. Just a side note, I do not dry my bras, um, and I dry my panties on a low on a low heat because I don't like the elastic to um, get dry rotted. Because after a while, the elastic seems to dry rot and they get stretched out, um, and not from me dress stretching them out. Just so you know, it's, it's the dryer. I'm I'm just gonna blame it on the dryer. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's what I do. And then I hang my bras. So that's what I do with my bras because I don't put those in the dryer at all, ever. I just let those air dry. All right, enough of that. I'm gonna go put this in my car so I have it. I'll see you in a little bit. So Brian is on his way home. So I uh, put the vegetables in the steamer and I have them in here cooking. Um, those are gonna take a little while before those are done because they're steaming. And then I have the oven um, heating up. And I think it's probably smoking because that stupid stuff. Yes, oh my gosh, I hate that. My alarms are gonna go off because of that. It makes me so mad. <sighs> All right, the reason why that smokes is because the wings last night, they were dripping and uh, they made such a mess. So that's why this thing like smokes and it just makes me mad because that's all it's doing is smoking and then my alarms go off because of the smoke, but I'm just trying to air this thing out because it's, it's really bad. And then I wipe the thing down, which I need to wipe it down. I need to wipe the door and stuff down and the round the thingy, but I cleaned the bottom little sheet thing that comes in and out. So like this thing down in there, I bring, I pull that thing out. You guys can see that, that thing down there. I pull that out and wash it, but look at the mess that it made yesterday. So I have to clean all of that. But um, yeah, I just kind of want to get that smoke out of there. Cause that thing down there is pretty much like, it's smoking a little bit. It's not burning, it's just smoking. Those don't burn. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and put this in here while that's preheating and let those let the salmon cook. Oh, that's so annoying. But yeah, every single time the the uh, alarms go off, it just sounds so bad. And I'm like, oh my God, the neighbors probably think I'm burning down my house every single time. And I'm not. <laughs> Alrighty, so the vegetables are nice and done. They look delicious. And I turned the fish on to warm and they are really good. I actually cut a piece off just a second ago just to check it out to see how well it tasted and it was so good. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update on my mom. Um, the doctor said that her lungs still do not look good but they are pumping her full of um, an antibiotic COVID medication um, and they're hoping, he said, just a couple of days, maybe she can go home and that would be great. But her oxygen is still not consistent and that's what they want. Um, but we're hopeful. Maybe she'll be home by the weekend. Um, but she's just tired, frustrated, angry. She just wants to go home. She's like, I can do this at home. <laughs> Except for the fact that she can't get the antibiotics like they're giving her at home. But uh, we're hopeful, we're hopeful and uh, prayerful and thankful and everything's gonna work out just fine. She's just gonna have a long road ahead of her of recovery. And um, we just have to thank God that he spared her this time around. And um, I mean, she's still not out of, out of the woods yet, but it, she's looking helpful. It's like on this side, so we're good with that. So 
but that's it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna um, hang out with my Valentine and I hope that you guys have a great evening and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.